Hey guys, and welcome to game number 58 out of 100 of my rematch series against the AI-powered Scrabblebot Best Spot. We are slowly but steadily creeping back. We are now five games only behind Best Spot after being double digits behind a while ago. Things have been going pretty well lately around the midpoint of this series. Hopefully we can get yet another one today to get within four games. That would be pretty cool, but we will have to see. Best Spot is going to be first in today's game. I've got a bunch of E's and G's, probably going to try to play Egg or maybe Egger or something along those lines. Hopefully the bot doesn't bingo or do anything super high scoring, but we are going to have to wait and see. If the bot doesn't make a play and opts to exchange, I probably will just open with Egg over here. But the bot does play Hold for 26. Okay. That doesn't give me a whole lot to work with. I definitely want to get rid of both of these Gs. I guess I could play Gleg for 10. The benefit of this play is it significantly limits counterplay. Gleg does not take an S, which is honestly kind of unfortunate given I do have one. But that's an option if I want to just keep a good leave and not give much back. I could also be a little more aggressive and play Egg here or here. Which, given I have a good leave and I have the S for eggs, is probably the way to go. I think I should play more for a bingo here as opposed to playing cautiously. EERS is a pretty solid leave. I, I think I like egg for now. I can't imagine there's going to be a play that keeps a G that's better. It's not like I can score that much with this rec anyway. This this is just not a good play. EERS is enough better than EGRS. It's easily worth sacking three points. There's also Egged. It's worth mentioning. That's an option, but I don't have a tile that goes in front of Egged. And this doesn't give me anything to work with, really, that I didn't already have. So it doesn't seem as good positionally as playing Egg. So I'm going to play Egg. I'm going to play it here. That way, if I do bingo ending in an S, I don't have to open a triple-triple like I would here. It's a very minor difference, but I think this just plays a little bit better towards my rack. So I'm going to play Egg over here, and I'm going to draw perfectly. I have over C, and look at that. It's a double-double. That's 96 if that stays open, so really hoping it does. Uh, other options, I have over Sail through the L, over C with Ode, overages, uh, so... It's going to take nothing short of a miracle here for Best Spot to completely stop me from bingoing. That would be pretty devastating, but I don't, by any stretch, anticipate that happening. Obviously, hoping for over C and eggs. That's going to score by far the most of any of these plays, but we will have to see what is still open after the bot's next play here. It's playing pretty slowly so far this game. It took 50 seconds on hold. It has taken... Now almost 50 seconds on its second turn here, so some non-trivial racks for the bot it looks like too. Egg was a bit of a tricky turn for me, but it feels certainly like I got it right in light of what I have drawn here. Alright, Joe comes down, I'm going to play over C immediately, and this looks promising. Lip liner, the L is blocked. Periling, the G's are both blocked. Hmm. Pinhold is not a word, unfortunately. All right, the bot bingo's back with Bravest. Okay, that's definitely not going to help me. I feel pretty confident I don't have a bingo. Probably something, yeah, I mean, Peely and Jib seems like a decent play. ERN, 24 points. Do I play PI? I don't think I do on this board. Like, this is a, a great example of why... You know, I think it's usually better to play more tiles as opposed to fewer if you're not keeping a super strong leaf. Like, on e Liner is a pretty solid leaf. It makes a lot of sevens. But the key is here, you have to look at the board. Where are you playing a seven on this board? You don't have a T for Thold. You're not underlapping the BR and Bravest. You need two E's, and then you need something to fit there. It's not going to happen. This doesn't go that well with the floating O or V or anything. It's not a great board for bingling. So I would take the extra four points and the extra turnover for some scoring tiles or an S or something like that. Like, you don't want to end up with, I know I say this a lot, but it's so important. It's such a common mistake. You don't want to end up 
with seven one pointers, maybe even a playable bingo. Like if let's say I play PI and I draw into Retinol or Aliener or something. Like that's great, but if it doesn't play, then what am I doing? Like I'm gonna score twelve. And I don't want to get into this vicious cycle of scoring twelve. I think this is way better. It also partially blocks Thold, which may not be bad for me. The bot has a decent chance at having pulled another T. So yeah, I like Peely here. Seems pretty sensible. Let's do it. That was not what I expected. Wow, I drew NQTZ. Jeez, flyovers now for 71 for the bot. And things are not going too well now all of a sudden. Uh, Nerds? I just can't get rid of this Q, really. QI is not a good play. At that point, I mean, is exchanging... Exchanging can't be right here. What, keeping ENRT? Nah, I'm, I'm falling too far behind. Nerds is still 35 points. There's four U's. Yeah, no, I absolutely play Nerds here over trading. I just want to make sure there's nothing better with the Z. Yeah, Zen here is bad. Zen here... Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think this is better. Like, if I'm going to save the Q, I'd rather give myself at least more chances to draw a U, or at least an I or something to help myself bail out yeah, Nerds is 35. I think that's got to be it. Keeps me within striking distance if I can draw well. That's a good draw. That's a very good draw. We got the S and the blank along with an A, so I should be able to play Cot or Cot somewhere. Hopefully. Yeah, I mean, Cots and Jibs is totally reasonable. Cot here is also totally reasonable. Oh, not that. We have seven points for the S. Generally, having a blank slightly devalues having an S. Ooh. That's interesting. A floating U. Quantish. That is not a word. Yeah, so what I was saying is generally having a blank does slightly devalue having an S because you could always use the blank as the S. Given that it's the last S here, it does it still have some value? Now, that being said, there aren't a ton of S hooks on this board. So the S is still a good bingo tile, but I'm not sure how strong it is. Cot does give back a lot of scoring under the Q. So I'm not sure I really want to invite that. Although I guess like if the bot, one cool trap here is if the bot plays something, say with, I'm not sure what with like pad, let's say, ending in ID, then I could hook the S onto Chi and make cheese and maybe play something with SI for a lot, maybe? It's a little far-fetched. Is there anything other than cot and cots to consider? There's cannot. I don't see why I would play this. It's seven less. Keeping the N is not really a bad thing. Same with Trank over here. It also blocks a lot of bingo lines. I don't really want to do that. I am down 80 points and I have a blank. It's in my best interest to leave bingo lines open. So, yeah, I think it's either Cod or Cots here. It's a tough decision. Like I said, normally 7 points is probably not enough to justify spending the S, especially the case S. Having the blank and two other constants makes me a little bit more inclined to play the S here. Hmm, how much does the S really help me bingo? 7 points are also nice, given I am down. It's tough. Yeah, positionally, both of them don't really open much. I don't think the re-overlap potential is that great here. I guess if it plays Pat, SH could be powerful. Like, I really want to start SH, that's the thing. If it plays with Pat, yeah, Pam would be like, give, would give me nothing back. It's unlikely with Pat I'm going to actually start something with SI, I think. PAC, maybe. Yeah, there's some upside... But I don't know. It also could give back huge plays with packs if the bot drew that. I don't think that's a huge benefit, to be honest. It's interesting, but I don't think it's a huge benefit. Pool is pretty balanced. Slightly Val heavy, if anything. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like the S does help me bingo enough, and bingoing quickly is important. I think I am going to save the S. Not so much because... I'm thinking I'm going to re-overlap for a ton on the bottom. 
More because I think even though there aren't any SX, it's still a good bingo tile. And maybe I'll be able to open another SX. I think for just seven points, having the last S does have enough value. I'm going to play Kot. And this was the one reason why I thought maybe I should have played off the S is because I was worried about getting no vowels. But it was unlikely to happen. I mean, the pool was pretty ba balanced. This was kind of unfortunate. Now, at least I have some tiles I'll hopefully be able to score with. And this is where the S could come in handy, though, guys. Because, like, now if I play something like Help, how does the bot deal with this, right? This is why I think Cot was still a good play. Um, let me just make sure I don't have a bingo or something. But assuming I don't have a bingo, this is exactly why the S is going to help, pun intended. Because now I can still set it up, and I don't have to worry about making my blank an S. Because now I can use the S there and have freedom to make the blank whatever I want. That's huge. So it's better than hemp because for two reasons. Number one, I think MNS is just a better leave. My bingos will score more. The M is a great bingo tile. And number two, there's a Y left and hempy is good. So no reason to invite potential trouble there. So yeah, if I can't find a bingo, help looks great. I mean, the bot, I guess it could play from this A. It's not that easy to do. The bot is going to have to probably go to significant lengths to block this. And then if it does, I have free reign to play on top. So yeah, help has got to be the play. I think, if I don't have a bingo. Let me just check the, there's some floating vowels here. Sometimes you can bingo through a floating vowel here if you make the blank a second vowel. Uh, hmm. Plashman or something, helps man, no. On, I feel like I'm close to some bingos, almost phantoms. Pashmina, none of these work. Plan. Do this SE or something, that's gonna be hard. Yeah, I don't think I have a bingo here. It's worth thinking about for a bit, but I don't think it's happening. Another thing I could honestly do, I don't think I'm going to, but plays like this become things to look at when you have the last hooks. Now, I think the problem is it's too easy for the bot to block. If it just plays a word through the P, I very well might not have a bingo on overlap. I'm also only scoring seven. Bingos with helps are probably still going to score 100-ish, a decent amount. I think this is fine. It scores 13 more initially. It's a little bit harder to... Well, I don't know if it's harder to block, but... It also keeps a better leave. I run more of a risk of running into constant issues again if I only play off two tiles. I think AMP is just too easy to block. I don't think it's quite worth it. It's an interesting idea, don't get me wrong. I don't think it's a bad idea, but I still think I prefer help. It's an interesting turn. I'm going to play this. Yuck. WU. Some bad draws here the last couple of turns, I have to say. I'm rather disappointed I have not bingoed yet. Oh, but I have unwisdom. I mean, that was not what I really wanted. I was hoping that bingo would helps. Now, would I consider passing up unwisdom? Maybe, depending on what the bot does. I mean, something like win here for 33 points and keeps the S in the blank. We'll see. If help stays open, I very well will consider... Well, now on Wisdom doesn't even play. Yeah, and I, I'm getting concerned here about the deficit. 97 points. I need to bingo for a lot, and I need to score well. I don't think there's anything through an A. From an E. Unswims is not good. I mean, the nice thing here is I actually still could... The, there's no more S's left. I don't have to worry about re-overlaps. And I could still hit a big play there, potentially. If I draw, like, a T, I mean, I could hit, like, Stumped or something for 100. Yeah, I think Win is probably the play here, assuming I'm not missing the bingo, which I feel like I'm not. Or, there's no 7 here, right? There's no way. Yeah, Outswim doesn't work. I wouldn't be surprised if Unwisdom is the only 8, honestly. Yeah, no, there's nothing. When it is. Alright. Now, 
I definitely have bingos with helps. Timius. Do I have something that doubles the M? Hopefully. Let's see. Going through the alphabet here in my head a little bit. Mousier. Dang it. Did not want that to happen. Yeah, now it's probably going to be too little too late, unfortunately. Hmm. I feel like I was in decent shape this game. It's just kind of slipped away. I mean, I guess if I bingo, I could maybe draw something again. It's going to be really hard, though. Without an S or a blank left. Yeah, I'm pretty lost here. Let me just see if I can double the M. All right. Through G in the alphabet. There's actually not that many sevens here. Uh, yeah, Timius, Mousier. What else even is there? Is there anything else? Maybe not. Just spend another 30 seconds or so, but I don't actually think there's anything else. Hopefully I'm not missing something. I want to consider a Q even, because sometimes when you have a lot of vowels in the U, you want to make the blank a Q. Not here. Nothing with an N. Yeah, I don't see anything else. It's not worth not bingoing at this point. It's going to get blocked sooner or later. It's actually a decent draw. The problem is I'm just running out of space. Probably got to try to hit this E here. Yeah, it gets blocked. Not surprised. I mean, what can I even try now? I'm not winning this game without bingoing. I, I mean, I could probably score a bit here with like, yeah, not enough. I mean, I'm down 64. I'm, I'm losing this game if I don't bingo. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. Even if the bot has three eyes, like I just don't have enough scoring potential. Yeah, I think it's probably time to just throw in the towel here. I should probably block this in case the bot has a big play there, like yawn. I mean, is there some crazy overlap I can like fish for here? Addition or something? That actually almost works, but no. If there's something I can fish for, I'll do it. Or can I maybe, maybe I can get something, hold on. Can I get something here? This is worth thinking about. Can I get a word ending in like O-R-A or something? There's no E's left, which does not help. Yeah, tornate, oh, there's no O's. OD something, diatron, rotunda. I don't see it, guys. I don't think it's possible. And the bots also, if it sees a possibility, it can block. I mean, it can just play through this. Oh, yeah. No, this is lost. This is just lost. I mean, I know the bot has garbage, but I, like, I'm not going to score anything. There's no chance I can win this game. Yeah, I think I was just completely dead there. Bot probably can't go out in two. I mean, what can I do? I guess I can score a decent amount with Tuna. But then I've got two R's and I'm probably not going out myself, which is not good. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what the bot is going to actually do with this. F-I-I-I-N-W-Y. I mean, that's pretty bad, honestly. It was still good I played Dado because Whiny would have been a lot under drainage if I didn't. I mean, I feel like I had to go there. The bot was bound to have some sort of good overlap. Yeah, the bot's probably going to... Oh, it's not going to take more time. All right, this goes with Y. Okay, blocking Tuna. Keeping F, triple I, N. Yeah, I mean, again, the problem is I'm just down too much. I have no ability to score points here with all one-pointers. So, I mean, I don't even know what I do here. I don't want to waste six minutes just trying to figure out the best end game and probably boring you guys. So, just find some reasonable album too. Does the bot have any big threats? Probably not. I mean, it's going to just play like if or something. So I probably still can't even go out in two. Like I don't. Maybe I shouldn't even go out in two. But it's probably still reasonable to like rat here. War maybe. 
War does turn go out? I don't know if turn plays out though. Very well might not. Yeah, there's no setups here. I only have one pointers. There's nothing to set up for scoring. I guess turn and paint. Yeah, maybe I just play war. I guess I can block that with riff. Probably will actually. Yeah, but then I'll just play like Nut and Rex or something. Yeah, I think this is fine. If it wants to block my out with Riff, I mean, I don't, I don't think I I N is going to go out on this board after. So I'll just go out in three then and keep scoring. I mean, I do allow Zin then. Yeah, I guess I should just go out in two. Um, how about Zar here? That's actually pretty good. Twenty points and then saving Run. Oh yeah, that saves, well it doesn't save run next to, it saves earn next to Centum. Yeah, this is fine. Let's just play Czar. Let's keep it simple. Alright, Fib, that's fine. And then run here. Probably pretty close to optimal. It felt like a good end game. It was a good game. 44409 best spot takes the W here. Yeah, I did feel like this one slipped away a little bit, but I don't necessarily think that means I played badly. I feel like I had some tough turns, but we'll see. Hold. For the bot, uh, Egger, come on, no way. Yeah, that's just not happening. There's no reason to do that, guys. Like, it's six more. It's early. You're you're not really down materially. Like, just, you, you don't want to be reckless. This is fine. No bingos here, huh? No Jerosite. Interesting. Oversee, obviously best. Bravest looks good. Could play it with Thold, but seems fine to play it here. Yeah, Pilly looks good. I guess I could play Pilly Eye, but I think keeping the E is good. E's are actually already getting pretty short. More than half the E's gone, just uh, under halfway through the game. So yeah, Pilly definitely better. Flyover is another bingo. Nerds has to be right here. Yeah, I'm not playing Zen, giving back easy scoring and keeping four consonants. Nerds for sure. Uracil, keeping, yeah, keeping the X makes sense here. You set, you set yourself up for EX plays potentially. There's just a lot of scoring spots. I like that decision by the bot. Tough call here, yeah, like I said, Cot versus Cots. I still think, I mean, saving the S did end up helping me in the end. I think it's a, a reasonable call here for the exact reason we saw. All right, good, didn't miss a bingo. Um, Yeah, help or helm, I guess, is also fine. I think the M's a little bit better than the P. Um, like I said, I could have considered playing Amp here. I just feel it's it's too easy to block through the P, or at least partially block such that I probably couldn't play a bingo, and that's really all I would be going for. I'm also only scoring seven. I think scoring 13 more, keeping a better leave, and saving a pretty strong s in reserve anyway is fine. I'm, I'm good with my decision here. Botox. Yep, no bingos here on Wisdom is blocked. I think win is fine. Obviously, I'm not doing this. I need to save the S for helps. Yeah, I'm happy with win here. And then the bot bingos. All right, just Mouse here and Timius. Yeah, it seems like I actually played this game really well. Bot plays, what did it do? Yeah, sent him to block the E. I mean, makes sense. It's about the only way you're going to lose at this point. I I mean, I just don't see how this is a path to victory. I'm still going to be down 38 in a tempo. Like, let's say I draw, like, A-R-N, leave the bot F-I-I-I-U-W-Y. I mean, I, the, the problem is, like, yeah, the bot has garbage, but it's still going to get, like, 15 points a turn. It's just going to play, like, if under the GE and drainage. It's going to play, like... Yaw or Yow, like it's gonna get rid of its high point tiles, and I just don't have anything to score with. That's the problem. Yeah, I I don't know if this this probably never wins. I don't I don't think I ever win here. I I think I'm just lost. Yeah, it's our, I think I played a very good game here, honestly, guys. I, there's no play I regret. I mean, based on how I felt during the game and the analysis, there was no play from start to finish that. I feel like I would do differently, honestly. I feel like I played a very good game and just came up a little short. But it was a good game, and like I said, like I've said many times, that is uh, very much part of Scrabble. You often are going to play a great game that exceeds your expectations, and you're going to lose, and there's going to be times you feel like you play a bad game and you still win. It happens. Um, and today, unfortunately, we, we came up short, but that's okay. We still went one and one this week. Uh, two very good games, so hope you guys... Enjoyed them. We're going to be still six games back going into next week, but very much surmountable. We've uh, come back from more than that, so 
I certainly believe we can keep winning and uh, make this happen. So thanks so much for your support. Really appreciate it as always. And I will see you next week for the next Best Bet match. And I will uh, see you tomorrow for the next video. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.